in the hall, it's like he looks right through me. You can't avoid my dad forever. I got something I need to get off my chest. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark. And I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love All-American, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like the video and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now, tonight we're going to be talking about All-American Season 4, Episode 2. This is just my quick thoughts, early impressions. Down below, you guys let me know how did you feel about watching tonight's episode. And man, a lot of different things did hap happen in this episode. Of course, your girl Coop, we learn more about her condition and how she really is, you know, feeling as far as rapping and, you know, how getting shot actually affected her. And also, you know, we got to go over what your boy Asher has been going through, man. And this season, man, you can already tell it's going to be getting heated up. Um, this is senior year. So like Billy Becker told Olivia, you can't keep worrying about what Spencer going to be doing. You got to be looking out what's best for you. So we're going to see that, I believe, by seasons in as far as what's going to be happening um, with, you know, with Olivia and Spencer, because we know that long distance relationship is just not going to work, in my opinion. Now, I know a lot of people, they want to see Olivia and Spencer stay together, and that's cool. But long distance and, you you know, you were freshmen in college, nah, I don't think so. I've seen it time and time again um, in school myself, and usually it does not work. It is very difficult to do something like that, especially seeing that Spencer will be a top athlete. It's going to be very, very hard in my opinion. But let's just talk about, you know, the episode, Quick Thoughts, Early Impressions. Um, of course, in this episode, it was Layla's birthday. And to be honest, Layla didn't really like all the things that was going on um, as far as people trying to celebrate her birthday. She didn't like it at all, um, just based on what she's been through. She is trying to change. She is pretty much tired of all the kitty kitty stuff. Um, of course, her and her pops kind of squashed the little issues at the very end of the episode. She's telling him that he can stop calling her princess. She's not really trying to relive stuff from her past and that, you know, she was a little girl when he used to do all that stuff and that he was barely in her life like that anyway. And she's not trying to go through that again. Of course, her pops is like, look, just let me restart. Let's do this fresh. What do you want me to do? Let's do something fun that we haven't done before. Let's start fresh. And that's when you see right here in the thumbnail, your girl Layla and her pops, they go to the gun range and Layla is letting those, you know, she was letting those, those bullets fly. You know what I'm saying? Your girl Layla was getting a lot of frustrations out in this episode at the very end of the episode. Um, we know she's going to continue to go through some struggles, but it is good to see her finally get over this a tad bit we're gonna see how it's all gonna go for her um especially with her and your boy jordan you already know they're building up as far as them two hooking up and i can't wait to see once that actually happens i want to see everybody's reactions right um also in the episode your boy asher he was trying to find another doctor or at least coach montez she you know she got another doctor for him because he's been going to all these different doctors and getting the same results and Coach Montez is like, look, I got another doctor, you know, an expert, one of the best in the country um, as far as athletes, right? And, you know, maybe you should go to this doctor that can help you out. I know Asher's mom is very pissed off about this. Now, this doctor ended up letting Jordan know some more bad news that the reason why he had these heart conditions was because of he was taking those PEDs and that pretty much messed up his whole system. So, you know, Asher was blaming himself for the situation that he is in right now he's putting a lot of blame on himself and at the end of the day i mean he's gonna go through what he's gonna go through it was a tough call but you know these doctors they know what they're talking about and as of right now asher i will say it does seem more like you're gonna be going the coaching route a lot of you guys have been saying you believe asher will probably end up being the coach especially based off last season how he was calling plays he was helping the coach out pick stuff apart so that does make sense. We're going to see how that all is going to unfold for him. But it was good to see Asher in this episode. And also him and Coop actually, you know, was having a conversation. We know Coop, her lungs is messed up. She was trying to get in the booth and, you know, something was just up with her. I'm looking like, man, like you ain't 100%. She's trying to play like she's 100%. Now for a second, I'm thinking she was really trying to, you know, her best, which she really was, but she was playing it like it was something else 
wrong, like it wasn't her. But deep down inside, she knew it was her lungs that was the reason why she couldn't rap like that. Um, we know Patience, she was very concerned about Coop, and Coop was acting a little bit different. And Patience's parents was pretty much telling her, like, look, Coop is always in trouble. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you need to be worrying about yourself and actually think about staying around Coop. Like, do you really want to be with her? And Patience, she was about to break up with Coop. She was, but once Coop told her about her lungs, that kind of squashed that. But I can already tell it's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time before Patience and Coop is probably going to end up breaking up, in my opinion. That was just my, you know, my early impressions on that. You guys let me know what you think about that. Do you believe that Patience and Cooper are going to stay together? They're going to work it out. I just don't know right now. Now, of course, in this episode, Coach Baker and your boy Spencer, they had to squash some issues. Now, Spencer, to be honest, he's been trying to squash it. He's already on said sorry time and time again. But Billy is not really trying to hear him for real. And once Olivia gets involved and Jordan gets involved, the truth really comes out. You know what I'm saying? Jordan puts him on blast. Jordan's like, look, you ain't even acting like you mad at me. That's because you expect me to always mess up. But deep down inside, you have more respect for Spencer. You know what I'm saying? And Jordan is very upset. And I believe some of that was true. I mean, yes, Billy does respect Jordan. He does relate more with Spencer because he comes from the same type of background that Spencer comes from. And he expects more for Spencer. So that's why he was kind of hard on Spencer. But Jordan doesn't like that. And to be 100% honest, Jordan has always had issues with this. As far as Coach Baker showing a lot of love to Spencer and not him. But in this episode, Coach Baker was able to let him know that he's proud of his son. And it was, you know, it's not that he does not respect him. He actually respects him a lot. He's proud of both of his kids. And he just wants the best for them. At the end of the day, your boy Spencer end up telling Coach Baker, you mad at me for Jordan coming to ask me for help. The question you should be asking is, why did Jordan come to me and not you? And this is what I was talking about because, you know, your boy Coach Baker is all over Spencer's case. Talking about I'm his father. I'm Jordan's father. I'm supposed to protect my son, not you. And I was thinking like, well, yeah, you are supposed to protect your son, but you got to ask yourself that question. Why was Jordan not comfortable enough going to you in the first place? So you already know your boy Coach Baker was in his feelings. Now, like I told you guys, the whole thing between Olivia and Spencer, um, this is senior year. At the end of the day, I don't see it playing out the way that they want it to play out, especially if the two are not going to be um, I will say in the same state or closer to each other. I mean, Ohio, it's a far, it's far from California. I'm from Ohio and I'm surprised your boy Spencer is going to Toledo. No disrespect to Toledo, but I can see it was Ohio State, but it is what it is, man. I guess he's going to go to where he want to go to. Some of you guys have said that Spencer still has the opportunity to go to other schools if he wants to. And if that is the case, I mean, hopefully, you know, that happens but at the end of the day it just it just depends on what Spencer wants to do if he wants to go to Toledo State so be it but this whole relationship with Olivia I can't see it playing out the way um he wants it to play out and I actually agree with Coach Baker as far as maybe Olivia needs to worry about what she needs to do and let Spencer worry about what he needs to do when it comes to their future because there's no way Olivia needs to be traveling to Ohio trying to kick it with Spencer she needs to worry about her dreams and the things that she care about. And if the two end up working out, then I guess it was really meant to be. But that was just my quick thoughts, early impressions. The episode was solid to me. I really enjoyed this episode. Um, they picking it up, man. They're definitely picking it up. This episode definitely had a lot of tension in it. I can't wait to see episode three. So far, season four is very solid in my opinion. And we're going to talk more. I will be dropping a full recap for you guys um, very, very soon. So stay tuned for that. But thank you guys for all the love, all the support. And I will catch y'all on the next one. But let me get up on out of here, man. It's your boy Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.